Okay, let's just look at two of these. These might help clear things up a little bit. Uh, let's see here. It says, the manager of a computer retail store is concerned that his suppliers have been giving him laptop computers with lower than average quality. His research shows that replacement times for the model laptop of concern are normally distributed with a mean of 3.8, standard deviation of 0.5. He randomly selects and records on 51 laptops sold in the past and finds that the mean replacement time is 3.6. This is X bar. This is mu. This is sigma. Assuming that the laptop replacement times have a mean of 3.8, standard deviation of 0.5, Find the probability that 51 randomly selected laptops will have a mean replacement time of 3.6 years or less. So if you look at the normal curve, it's going to look something like this. Mean is going to be 3.6. No, 3.8. So I'm looking for the probability that a sample is going to have an average lifespan of less, th less than or equal to 3.6 years. So we'll just draw 3.6. So I'm looking for this area. Okay, so we're going to go to the calculator, just like we did before. Distributions, normal CDF. My lower bound's a real negative number because this never ends. So I'm just going to put in a really big negative number. It doesn't matter what you put in, just big negative number. Upper is going to be 3.6. Mean is going to be 3.8. And since we're talking about a sample, I have to change my sigma. My sigma is going to be the sigma of the population, 0.5, divided by the square root of the sample size, 51. Just like that. Let paste. Enter one more time. So it looks like our probability of being less than or equal to 3.6 is 0 0.0021, 0 0.0021. Based on the result above, does it appear that the computer store has been given laptops of lower than average quality? Yet yeah, it's very, very unlikely that they would last 3.6 years, less than 3.6 years. So yes, the data is unlikely to have occurred by chance alone. It's very, very unlikely that this happened by chance because this is the probability that it could happen. Okay, not a very, very likely thing to happen. Same thing here. So this says the amount of nicotine in certain brand of cigarettes are normally distributed with a mean of, so this is, this is mu. I hate how that does that. Let's see here. I want to get rid of that stupid cursor thing. Uh, whatever. Okay. It'll have to work. Okay, and standard deviation is 3.27. That's going to be sigma. The company that produces these cigarettes claims that it has now reduced the amount of nicotine. The supporting evidence consists of a sample. This is N of 44. With a mean, this is X bar of 8.837. Assuming this, the, the given mean and standard deviation have not changed, find the probability of a randomly selecting 44 cigarettes with a mean of 0.837 or less. Same thing, or less. So we go to distributions, normal CDF, or less, very negative number, up to 0.837. The mean of the data is 0.896. Standard deviation, since it's a sample, is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of our sample size. Like that. So we get a 0.1157. Well, we could put that right there, but that's good. Uh, it says, based on the results, so 11.5% chance. Based on the results above, is it valid to claim that the amount of nicotine is lower? Let's use a 5% cutoff. So no, since this is above 5%, it could have just been by chance. It has to be lower than 5% for us to safely say, no, it can't be by chance.